Take it What is up everyone? It's Brian Bray242 back with another video. But in this video, it is not Clash of Clans. In my, in my previous video, I did say that I was going to play something new and it was going to be huge. It was going to be big. So this is the huge thing that I'm going to play. This is not Clash of Clans. This game is called Dragon Ball Legends. And this is not available on Play Store. I mean, it kind of is available on Play Store. But it won't. Um... If you try to download it off Google Play Store, it's going to say this app is not compatible with your device. It's going to say that for every Android. I don't know about Apple, for every Android device. So, if you want to download it, you're going to have to, before you download this game, you have to download an app called Parallel Space. I'll show you how the app looks right now. All right, guys, this is Parallel Space. You're gonna wanna go into Google Play Store and download Parallel Space. Now, when, you, when you're done downloading Parallel Space, this is gonna pop up. This little box right here. And this says Parallel Space under it. I don't wanna delete it. It's gonna look like that. So you're gonna tap on it. It's gonna take a couple seconds. It's not gonna take long. It's gonna top. You're gonna top on it, and you should be able to see Dragon Ball Legends. If you don't, you're gonna have to top on the plus sign and add up. And you're gonna want to add Dragon Ball Legends into Parallel Space and open it up from Parallel Space over here. This is what it's gonna say when you open Dragon Ball Legends. And you don't open it from parallel space. <clears throat> so I really think that this video is going to be a little long. I'm really sorry. It took me really long to upload this on YouTube. It's just that I was a little busy. But at least I still uploaded it on YouTube. And yeah. Yes. See, this is what it's going to say if you just open the app by itself. One of my friends told me about this, and I really couldn't believe that this game actually existed. This game came out, I think, four months ago. Yeah, four months ago. And it won't let you play the game like that. So you're going to want to open it from parallel space from here. You're going to want to open it from here. And it'll say starting Dragon Ball Legends. <clears throat> now one thing that i must say about this game this game has events like crazy the first time when you play it um it's gonna give you a couple of gems it's gonna give you a couple thousand depending on how you save up it's got the most gems i ever had was 1400 1,400, yeah, those are, those are the most gems I ever had in this game, and this and this game gives you gems like crazy. There's story mode, you can, and this game comes with a customizable character. He's already customized, so you can't customize it. You can only customize his clothes. Story mode, customize them. You can go on an adventure. You can send your characters on an adventure so that they can bring stuff back for you. You can train them. The shop isn't available for since how long this game is out. They haven't fixed the shop yet. You can summon. Summon means you can call in new characters. Summon new characters. Missions. So you can collect your rewards from completing missions and story mode. PvP. That means you can play online. Player versus player online. And characters. You can boost the characters. Add some effects on them. And... Build up your character team. So let's see. And there's there's the new event going on. The, the Invincible Android 18 event. So I'm gonna each event has missions for it. 
So when you're playing the event, you're gonna have to want you're gonna want to complete the missions. The amount of tro not trophies, the amount of gems that I have was 277. And these are the these are the events rewards when you complete them. There's a lot. They don't have one event, they don't have two events, they don't have three events, but they have um four events most of the times or more than four. These are all the events that's going on. All of the events. I don't want to go over everything. It'll show you into the in the tutorial when you download it. Because if I feel as if if I tell you guys everything, this video is gonna be extremely long, and I'm gonna to have to make multiple videos. So just download the game. The link, the download link for this game will be in the description. And Parallel Space, I wanted to give you the download link for that because you're just gonna have to download from Google Play Store. And yeah. Now, before I get into a fight for you guys, I'm going to do some summoning. Now, 20 gems isn't the real amount of gems it's going to cost for summoning. It's just that each day, it's going to do a daily discount. You can summon one person for the first time for 20 gems. The regular price is 100 gems. Well, yeah, 100 gems. So each day you're gonna you're gonna get them at a discounted price, 20 gems. So let's do the first summon. Yes. After when I'm done with these three summons, I'll get into battle. Now it's gonna show a cutscene. It's always go it's gonna show different cutscenes. There are four four different cutscenes. It's gonna cutscenes. It's going to show. This is the cutscene. I'm not going to skip it. You can skip it if you want to, but I refuse not to skip it. I think that if you watch it, there's a higher chance of you getting a new character. Goku's going to prepare to come with me and it's going to say pull. And you're going to have to release for him to blast it. Either Goku is going to win or it's going to be a tie or Goku is going to blast Frieza. A higher chance of you getting a good character you have to you're gonna have to watch the cutscene all the way from the beginning towards the end for you to get a new character or a character so that you can level up your previous character if you get the same character it's gonna level up that character who you have already have it's gonna make him a little stronger like by 10% or 15% now, I really highly, highly, highly recommend this game to you guys. I am not sponsored by this game. I just really love this game. And I said that I'll be playing different contents on this channel. You see how the background changed? And Goku went Super Saiyan. There's a chance they're going to give me a new character. New or, re or powerful character that I have already have. So let's see what character. I, don't, I think I've had this character already. Yeah, I've had. <laughs> they already gave me him. Now this is gonna be the last summon I'm gonna get myself into battle. I don't think I've ever seen Goku turn Super Saiyan on Planet Namek regularly like this before, especially with the, the Saiyan battleship in the background. Pull, release. I think that I'm gonna get a new character. I don't know. Let's just see. I've already got her. The only way to tell if it's a new character is gonna, at the top left corner, it's gonna say the word new. If it's a new character that you've already have. If it's not new, it's not going to show new to the top right corner. Okay guys, I've started the battle. And here are the five characters that I've set up. You can only carry in three characters at the same time. So I'm going to pick my three characters. I'm going to pick Raditz. I'm going to pick Broly. 
I'm going to pick um, Krillin. So those are three. Only three you can carry in. But you can carry in six characters as a team. So that you can pick out of those six people. You can carry in three. Now, one thing that I'm going to say, this game has a total of 99 characters. And there are some more characters coming to the game because those are not all of the characters that exist in Dragon Ball Z. In the Dragon Ball series. And out of all the characters, I only have 68 characters. And I'm going to, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good this game is, I'll give it a 9. Yeah, it's that much of a good game. To be honest, I think that it's evenly matched with uh, Clash of Clans. I really love this and Clash of Clans evenly. I can't say which one I love better. Now, you can set it to auto off or auto on. If you have it set to auto on, the CPU is going to attack for you. You see that? It's not me. I'm not tapping on the screen at the moment. It's the CPU. But if I turn it off to auto off, I'm going to be attacking. I'm going to move left, I'm move right, I'm going to move forward, actually, nope, I'm going to switch my teammate, switch into Krillin, I'm going to dash to the left, dash to the left, dash to the left, and I'm going to set it to auto one, because I don't feel like fighting at the moment, and I really think that's a really awesome feature that they added into this game, just in case that you're busy and you don't want to leave a fight and you don't want to pause it, you can let the CPU fight for you. And yeah, I really love this game. And I have been playing this game for a while. I haven't played this from since it came out. This game has been updated over the past couple of months. It's been updated 12 times. 12 times. Yeah, that many times. And it's only been out for four or five months. I don't know. And whenever the game needs to update, it's going to tell you that it needs to update. And it's going to send you back to, um, it's going to send you back to Play Store. And it's going to send you there to update it from there. But it's still going to say this device is you not know, compatible with your device. So you're going to have to go on Google and type in. Okay, guys, you're going to want to go on Google and type in. Dragon Ball Legends and you're gonna want to type in the latest update the latest update is 1.15.0 so if it ever if it asks me for an update to update the game right now it's gonna be 1.16.0 you're gonna go 15 16 17 18 19 like that that's how the update works dragon Ball, sorry, Ball Legends update 1.3. You're gonna want to type up 1.15.0 AP, APK, and sometimes it's not gonna have it on Google right away. You're gonna have to wait for at least eight hours or seven hours, and this is the website it's gonna send you to. And you're going to want to scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling, and it's going to say download APK. And when you're done downloading it, you're going to want to have to open Dragon Ball Legends. And that's how it works. Okay, now this is the creative character right here. His name is Charlotte. He was made by the Dragon Ball series legend, Akira Toriyama. And the reason why they're dying so fast is it's because um because they are on the low level and my Charlotte this creed, this character right here is on a high level. The highest level you can stop to in Dragon Ball Legends, the max level is 1500. 1500 is the highest rank level for each character, every character in this game. All right guys, this character who I'm fighting is Prince, Prince Vegeta, Scout of Vegeta, and I've been stalking this guy for weeks because he's like extremely OP. So I'm gonna try and beat him because even though I've lost like a couple hundred times, is he's too freaking OP. This time I'm gonna fight using my own hands. I'm not going to use auto. 
I'm gonna fight by topping and next match I'm gonna let the CPUs fight and see who does a better job me or the CPU now this dude I, I, I literally met him when I was stuck on for a couple of weeks. He's like extremely strong. They made him seem like he was a super saiyan god fighting him like this. He depletes your health really fast. But no matter what health, what, no, but I meant no matter how high your character level is. And this is the best thing, Rising Rush. Look at this, guys. I just hope that I, that I can nail it. This is called Rising Rush. I'm not going to explain it to you guys. I'm just going to let you guys see it. I hope that I can succeed. <clears throat> yeah, I'll explain it to you guys. What Rising Rush is. Rising Rush. The, you're going to have to play cards. Cards with, that have Dragon Balls on the top left corner of the cards. And hold on. Okay, this time I'm going to set them to auto on to see who does better. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to explain what Rising Rush is. Rising Rush, the cards that you're playing, you're going to look at the top left cards. And if they have Dragon Balls like this one in the middle, in the top left corner, if it has a Dragon Ball on it, it's going to add up to the Dragon Ball slot on the right side of the screen. And... When it adds up to seven, you can do a rising rush. A rising rush is um all of your team, the person who you're gonna who you are right now. If he does a rising rush, he's gonna do the kind of attacks that you have displayed on at the bottom, and he's gonna do that. He's gonna do up to four or three. I can't remember. And after when he's when he's done all of them, all of the characters that you have. In the fight right now, they're all going to do their ultimate attacks at the same time and they're going to hit the enemy. That's what Rising Rush is. Rising Rush is a really, really, really awesome feature in this game. I really was not expecting not to be into this game. That's like the best feature in this game of them all. And I, as I say, I've been stuck on this for weeks. I don't know why. It's really, really, really annoying because I can't beat with this kind of a Jita at all. He's a real pain in the neck. It's, it's like this dude has a million damage, a million percent damage. So I think that I did better fighting by myself. Without the CPU's help, without having auto on, I think that I did better. But sometimes, when you're losing a match, you can put it, you can set auto to on so that the CPU can play a little smart or something like that. Or you can have auto on at random times so that you and the CPU can fight at the same time and you guys can become powerful. Okay. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and check out my previous videos. If you enjoyed my previous videos, don't forget to like and comment. And let me know what you guys think of this game. And I'll sh and follow me on social media. Follow me on Twitter. And follow me on Instagram. I think that I'll put my Twitter my Instagram in the description or inside the comment section. And if you want to download this game, do not forget to go to Play Store and download parallel space first and go on google play go on not google play go on google chrome and download dragon ball legends you're gonna have to type out dragon ball legends 1.15.0 but if you don't want to if you guys don't want to do that i just have the link to download the game in the description and yeah i'll get you guys another video peace out